Greetings, Ramblurb. Yeah, we got the AST Advantage 600 series thing out that I've done a video about over an LGR with its pathetic amount of RAM. <laughs> really not doing this system any favors. 100 megahertz, Pentium, and then just the four megs of 70 nanosecond RAM. Uh, two of those making eight megs. Yeah, it's slow. See that video for... Uh how slow and, and, and held back it is. So anyway, I'm gonna be um, at least doubling that. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know what, <laughs> what RAM I have on hand. That's gonna be part of what this video is. Uh, just seeing like what the heck I even have lying around. I've been um, digging more and more RAM out of here as I've been going through my storage and actually trying to organize stuff. But, you know, it's one of those things where uh, I keep finding RAM modules and little sticks and things. And I don't know what any of it is. Like a lot of it's unlabeled. Or if it is labeled, I haven't actually looked it up to see precisely what it is. So I'd like to get, obviously, things that are compatible uh, with this. And I'd like to get it up to 32 megs if we can. We'll just see what kind of, uh, yeah, bits of RAM that I got. So let's go and look through those. All right, I found a bag of RAM under the stairs. I know I have more. <laughs> this is just the first batch I found. So I think that these all here are four megs each, various speeds and types. Some of these are FPM, some of them are Edo, some of them, actually I don't think any of them have parity. Not that I'm noticing anyway. Um, but I think that these each are eight meg modules, uh, 70 nanosecond, 60 nanosecond. This is Edo or EDO, whatever, FPM. So I think if I install this in a couple of banks together and these together, then we should probably run at whatever the slowest is, and then it'll just act as FPM instead of EDO. It's been a long time since I've mixed and matched. <laughs> Let's try it out. I've never tested these at all. I I've never tested any of these, so who, who the heck now? <laughs> So from the manual, it looks like matching pairs go two and then two. Uh, I hate these kind of RAM slots. <laughs> it always feels weird. Now, if I were thinking, I would have done them one at a time to test them, but I'm feeling uh, kind of stupid, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna just try it. I don't know. I got it all set up. Hope it works. <laughs> really throwing caution to the wind here. Uh, if anybody's curious what was inside there, it's these IBM RAM modules, four megs each, 70 nanosecond, no parity, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's good. No uh, chaotic beeping or noises of pain. Testing memory. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something's passing. Hey, hey, 32 megs even. All right, wow. That means my Google Foo was correct. Uh, I don't know, just, I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, dude, wow. I, I'm kind of shocked that actually worked. I mean, in my mind, in theory, I knew it should be working just fine, but <laughs> my my uh, my lack of, of testing each one individually. See, I don't have like a RAM tester. I really, really want one of those, especially for all these kind of little deals. Little 72 pin ones and I mean, all of them though, SIM, SD, RAM, DDR, like all, I have so much RAM, way more than what I showed earlier. Like I said, that was just one little package of uh, RAM modules that I found literally underneath the stairs. I've got two or three more boxes. Let me get this adjusted. But yeah, like I, I yeah, I don't know. Those testers are expensive. The, uh, the converters that you have to get to um, connect all the different types of older RAM that I want to are 
even harder to find. They're just really hard to find, and then when you do find them, they're not cheap. Anyway, let's test some crap out. Um, I know Duke 3D in particular was terrible <laughs> before. I don't think I actually looked at any frame rates in my video, but we're going to uh, just test it out here. And, and yeah, I know folks were saying, oh, I should run it in true DOS mode instead of under 95. I was getting the same results either way. It's just the computer. That's already immediately better. Because that was like... Duh, 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 and it took way longer to load. Uh, this is... Oh yeah, this is going to be so much better. Oh, there you go. That is what you would expect for, Come get some. yeah, 100 megahertz Pentium. Oh, it's inverted. Let's just turn that off. Okay. Dude. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Turn on the frame rate. Oh yeah, we're getting 30, mid 30s. Go in the corner, you can get over 60. <laughs> this is so much better. Done literally nothing but quadruple the RAM. <laughs> yeah, you still get to slow down the expected spots just because that's that's how it is with build engine games. <laughs> uh, even on far more capable hardware. Uh, this is so much better. Oh, I typed in the cheat wrong. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so much better. Time to die. Yeah, like even that was. Oh, that's some. It, the swearing is correct. So, uh, awesome. Wow. Well, that's all I need, really, but let's continue. Um, what else sucked on here? I also played Tomb Raider, but honestly, uh, Tomb Raider was fine. So, uh, yeah. The other thing that would make a huge difference. I mean, literally anything is going to make a huge difference, and that's why these machines are so interesting, I think. Uh, sorry about the refresh. But yeah, like, you can double the video memory in here to four, or sorry, two megs. There's only one in there right now with that onboard chip. Of course, you could add a 3D accelerator and go really, really just, wow, super far forward in terms of performance and, and visual quality and all that. Um, and then, of course, there's the cache. It doesn't have that cache module installed, the Coast. Oh, don't give me copyright struck, Trent. I love your music, but YouTube is... Okay. All right, this is... I don't think this is significantly better in terms of performance, but it's not stuttering as much I'm beginning. That's... That is for sure. It's definitely better. It's definitely better. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I was going to say... Uh, more cash would be good uh, in terms of L2. I would really like to see what it what it's like going from uh, one megs to two in terms of the onboard video memory. If I can find a couple more of those chips and just add to this. Oh, this is, this is so much better. Cause there was like stuttering going across the bridge there. Opening this door was like, it, 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 it was just, oh, it didn't know what to do, the poor thing. All right, so now that we have enough RAM, we can try Pod, Ubisoft Pod 1997, and um, yeah, contrary to what seem uh, some people seem to believe from what I've seen in the comments, uh, this does not require an MMX uh, set of instructions on your processor. It was just sold and sort of uh, marketed on that. It takes advantage of MMX, but I just have the non-MMX version of Pod installed on here, and uh, just software rendering. Hey, look at that! It's it starts right up. It wouldn't even it wouldn't even try. Previously, it was like, oh, you don't have RAM. <laughs> I think you need 10 megs. That's a little skippy, but... Honestly, that NDO video compression... Uh, you, you need better video and processor. That really makes that uh, work. And it was loading directly off of this 4-speed CD-ROM, so... <laughs> There's that, too. Because I do not have the full installation on there. There's very little hard drive space. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. Wow, it's actually uh, moving okay. Eh, I've seen worse. <laughs> not the most responsive. Let's just do the Beltane test. 
yeah, it doesn't take all the inputs the first time, but that's not bad. That's actually loading pretty good. Yeah, like I said, I've seen way worse. Man, run this thing on like a Pentium 60 to 80 megahertz and he's not skipping. Sometimes the announcer is just like super stuttery. Oh, okay. The performance itself or the gameplay is uh, leaving a little bit to be desired, but <laughs> I just wanted to see how it would, it would run at uh, full graphical settings here. You can obviously lower things a bit. <laughs> this is so this is full, just software rendering. It's just that 100 megahertz Pentium non, uh, non MMX doing its thing. <laughs> and then one megabyte, I think it's an SIS uh, integrated graphics chip on there. Uh, not, not good. I would be so curious though, to see what it would do with two. Ooh, two megs, double the megabytes. It would certainly help. Especially a 64480, which I think this is what this defaults to, but, um, you know, I don't, that's not going to tell me on this monitor, and I said, I don't want to do it. Anyway, like I said, I've seen worse. <laughs> the RAM, 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 it really makes the difference on uh, this one, just in order to be able to start it at all. All right, well, that's uh, pretty much it. I just wanted to do this. Eight mags, eight is just like, that's like half what I would expect for a system like this. Um, our PC in 1997 had 32 megs. And that was, you know, fine. 1997 was actually pretty good. It's the combination of all the things on here, just the 100 megahertz Pentium with eight megs of RAM. It does not have the additional cache module. Yeah, the 6205, that. And then, you know, the slow hard drive with hardly any space. It's, all these things were conspiring against it to make this bad for uh, uh, a lot of reasons. But, you know, interesting at the same time. I love going back to this sort of era and just seeing how bad it really was or, you know, what we sort of dealt with and didn't think about. At least I didn't as a kid. You know, I, I would have been extremely happy with this computer just as it was. No upgrades at all uh, in 96. It would have been. It's, I could only dream of such a setup, honestly. So, uh, you know, no shade against it for what it is, but it's just technology and, and computer specs and everything we're moving forward at such a rapid pace in the era from like 95 to 99 is in particular. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm just, I'm just sort of rambling, thinking about things now. <laughs> That's it. That's all this video was. So uh, thanks for watching this blurb. See what else we can upgrade in the future, perhaps.